Hello everyone, my name is Python GB, and I am very scared. You may have just seen this is going to be a terrible night. And so, as I mentioned in the last episode, I am hoping that my theory of just magic mirroring away from the dudes is going to work. So, uh, <laughs> this is quite the time to test the theory. So we're going to move all the way over to one side of the map. We're going to try and get as far away as possible from our town. And then we're going to let him spawn, and then we're going to magic mirror back to base, and hopefully what that's going to do is it's going to make the twins despawn. I am really hoping that's going to work. If not, then we're going to have our first test of the series, and that would really, really suck. But then again, you know, our stuff would be by our base, and we wouldn't really lose anything. We'd just get our stuff back. In fact, if anything, we're going to we're gonna gain a spare couple of short sword pickaxe and axe. You know, no, not, not all is lost and such, you know. <laughs> Oh man, maybe I should die more often just to get all the copper tools and sell them. That's a great way of making money. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I am kidding. Right. If this theory works, if it works, then what we're going to do is we're going to get straight on with the adamantite grind. We're going to try and get adamantite armor. And uh, then... Okay, the twins have awoken. Alright, and magic mirror. Did I do it? I think I did it. I think I just escaped the twins. <laughs> oh, I love it when theories are true. Oh, that's fantastic. You watch one second later. Boom! Ah, oh, Python's dead. God damn it. What a son of a gun. Right, anyway. I really didn't want to fight the twins, which is exactly why I do Oh my god, they're right there! They didn't despawn. They did not despawn. They didn't despawn. Well, I I am literally screwed. Okay, uh, there's one of them. There's one of them left. I I I I uh, 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 ha ha! Oh God! What? Wait, what? Is there two? Or is it actually one? Oh my God! They're both there. Oh no! <laughs> my my theory's wrong. My theory's wrong. Okay, right, we're going to go out with a valiant effort. We are not going to die just with our hands between our legs and such. And why did I say that? That's a disgusting thing to say. But, oh, we're going to have the first death. No. No. Why? Oh, my God. This is not good. This is not good. At well, well, okay. Uh, I might as well just accept my death. I'm, I'm not even aiming right now. That's how, that's how uh, confident I am in that I'm going to die. And boom! And I'm dead. There we go. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and just to clarify, this is on medium course, so you saw there that I lost everything. And look at my red dude again. Oh god damn it. That is an absolute poop. God damn it. Right, okay, well, I guess I can sell a bunch of stuff. Uh, there you go. Sell. Hmm, Goblet copper pickaxe. Hmm. If only I had you at the start of the series. Uh oh. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's have that. Knight's Edge. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to spend a long time trying to get everything back to where it was. <laughs> oh no. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to go ahead and grab my stuff back, and I shall meet you guys when I've got my inventory back to how it was. Alrighty guys, I have been restored to my former glory, even though I can't possibly claim glory now because that was a complete and utter embarrassment. There was absolutely no way that I could defeat the twins, so there isn't even any point in me trying right there. Oh my god, if I actually did manage to defeat him, then I'd, I literally didn't know, I wouldn't know what to do. I would not what, know what to do. The reaction would be just insane. I'd probably die of the, the stupid stuff, you know? You know what I mean? Probably not. Right, okay guys. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do in this episode, we are going to attempt to make the jump to adamantite armor. And unfortunately, I'm pretty sure you need either four or five ores per bar. So we're going to need a hell of a lot of the damn stuff. So that's going to certainly be uh, interesting, right? This is going to be a pretty long recording, but probably not a long episode. It's going to be one of them ones. Yes. Right, let's go ahead. A magic mirror back to base, and what I am looking for is a Spelunker potion. I am hoping that I have some. 
I'm pretty sure I do. I certainly don't see why I shouldn't have any. Uh, I currently have four. Okay, I'm going to take... I'm going to... Do you know what? I'm just going to take all of them. Uh, okay, uh, do we need anything else? Probably a mining potion just for the hell of it. Just so I can mine things just a wee bit quicker. Uh, stack that up. Okay, good stuff. Hunter potion, recall potion. Uh, should we take a couple of them? Just for the hell of it. We've got some buffs going at least. Yeah, okay. Alright, I think I think we are ready to go mining. So, once again, guys, I'm going to make this into a bit of a cutty, time-lapse type thingy me doohickey. So, uh, here we go, guys. The adamantite grind begins. Ah, mimic. Mimic. Hey, buddy. Ah, another boss. What? Okay, we got another frost brand. Nice. Okay, we can sell that straight away. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. I'm trying to get on with my adamantite grind and you're in my way. Okay, guys, let's get on with the grind. Alrighty guys, I currently have 306 adamantite ore, as you saw through that time lapse. There was a lot of adamantite, sorry. I only used one potion as well, the mining potion by the way. Very, very useful. Very useful indeed. Right, the question is, uh, can I make the thing? Adamantite forge, there it is. Oh baby, good stuff, good stuff. Five adamantite ore per bar, oh my god, okay. How much are we gonna get? 55. How much armor can that allow me to get? Please be all of it. Please be all of it. Okay, here we go. Adamantite helmet. Adamantite breastplate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just made a monumental jump. In the amount of defense we've got, let's just put the uh, let's just put the molten armor back on. 34 adamantite armor. 55. What's that? 21 increase? <laughs> My god, that's insane. Okay, and 18% increase melee and movement speed, 14% increase melee damage. This now does 73 damage. Holy bejesus. My god. The only thing is I'm still not very confident in my ability at the moment to take down hard mode bosses. So, uh, because I'm pretty sure this episode hasn't been very long, I'm going to attempt to try to get the icicle. This may or may not take a very, very long time to do, but hopefully I'll be able to last quite a lot longer now that, now that we've got adamantite armor. My god, this is crazy stuff indeed. Very crazy stuff. Uh, the only thing is, I'm not able to make any weapons, so that kind of sucks. I guess one of the things I could make is an adamantite, was it a naginata? Naginata? 
you know, the spear. The adamantite spear, basically. That's what I want to try and make, because it's something I don't make very often, and I feel like it might be a worthy investment, especially when it comes to invasions. For example, I'm imagining at some point that we're going to have a pirate invasion. You know, that's one of the hard mode events that can happen, and obviously you can get some pretty cool stuff from that. The cutlass, in my opinion, is one of the best things you can get from it. The discount card, and also... Uh, the discount card, what's the other one? The lucky coin are pretty damn good as well. I mean, you can get a coin gun, which I've never, ever, ever had to this specific day of playing mine. Um, not Minecraft. Oh my god. Well, that's probably going to start a war in the comments area. God damn it. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm god. I'm basically god now. I could do anything I want and not have any consequences. Oh, look at all that. I just killed a bunch of dudes. Barely took any damage, you know. Only 80. <laughs> you think that's a lot? It really isn't. It really isn't. Alright, okay. So, without further ado, let's get on with killing a bunch of viking dudes. I'm pretty sure the icicle is dropped from the frozen vikings. These dudes, the armored vikings. So, let's kill a bunch, and let's hope and pray that we get a, uh, an icicle, because that will be very, very nice indeed. See you guys in a sec! What the hell? A snowball launcher? What? Okay, that is something I've never seen before. I've seen a snowball cannon, but not a snowball launcher. Can be placed, rapidly launches snowballs. Interesting. Do they actually do damage or no? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, man. We'll have to test that out when it comes to the end of the episode, won't we? Just a little bit of a treat for you guys. All right. Okay, but in the meantime, let's continue hunting for them Viking dudes. It's a magic weapon. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm going to have to sell that when I get back to base, because obviously we can't use it. Only allowed to use melee weapons. God damn it. That's a bit of a pain in the ass, but at least we've got a bunch of gold, and even more so from uh, selling the weapon, right? You know? That's pretty cool. Alright. Still haven't got an icicle, though, so we're going to continue on. Oh, man. I love these mimics so much. Another frost brand. Hmm, number three, is it? Indeed. Alrighty guys, we're about to pass the one hour mark for this recording and unfortunately I have not got an icicle. I've actually now got three frost brands and two of these uh, flower frosts, but no sign of, a, uh, of an icicle. We don't even have a frost brand, which is pretty, pretty peculiar because I always thought they were fairly common. Because in one of my other words, I think I've got like four of them, which is ridiculous, but it appears our luck. Doesn't appear to be on our side today. Not only have we died, but uh, we're not we're not able to uh, get a uh, an icicle. You know what it is, day? It? It's the camera curse. It is the camera curse. Do you realise once I finish this recording, as soon as I finish this recording, I bet I'm gonna get one. I bet. I bet I'm gonna get one. 
<laughs> That's what normally happens, ladies and gentlemen. That's why, if you remember on my old Terraria Let's Play, uh, sometimes at the end of the video, I would post a little snippet, which is me somehow managing to obtain the uh, item that I was trying to get in the episode. And I got it just after the episode. So it's just like, oh man, why you do this, Terraria? Why you do this? Right. Oh well, I guess you can't have everything in the world, so I guess we've still got one more thing we can try and do. Let's just kill this dude, and that dude over there, I can see another one. Come on, man. You are our last hope. My last hope. Are we going to get one? No, we're not. Okay, how many gold do we have? 49. My god. We now have two snowball cannons as well. Check this out. <laughs> Oh my lord. Right, okay, let's just quick stack a bunch of crap really quick. And we are going to make the Adamantite Spear, or Najinata. However the hell you want to pronounce it, I have no idea. Right, here we go. And apparently I've got enough to make an Orichalcum bar. Orichalcum, Orichalcum. I'm going to call it Orichalcum. There we go, I'm going to call it that. There we go. Right, uh, I would like to make one of these things, which is a spear. It does melee damage, of course, so we are allowed to use it. My god, that's big. Holy moly. Okay, what else can we make? An adamantite sword? I don't think we really need that. We can make a war axe. Hmm, that's a pretty interesting investment if we get one of them. Though, to be honest, I don't see why we would need one because eventually we're probably going to get the pickaxe axe. So, to be honest with you guys, what I am likely going to do is just save it up. I'm probably just going to save it. Yeah, I think that's a pretty cool idea. And we're going to sell the things we don't need. So, we've got the flower of frost. Really? That's all it's worth? 22 silver? Hmm. I think that might be a bit of an error because there is no way that is worth only 20 silver. There must be some sort of error there. I'd expect it to be worth like 5 gold since it comes from a, uh, since it comes from a mimic. So, hmm, that's pretty interesting. Right, okay. So let's go ahead and place a couple of these down, see what exactly they do. Boom. And... <coughs> I can't, I can't put one down. I'll put one here. Oh, sorry, penguin. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. Right, okay, so now what do I do? How do I activate it? Oh, I need to put snowballs in it. Okay, no worries, no worries. Let's go ahead and grab some snow blocks. Snow blocks. Uh, you, sir, need to get out of my way so I can access this chest. Thank you very much. Right, there we go. Uh, let's grab some snowballs. Okay, so we just got to go in here, grab some snowballs, boom, 20 of the damn things. Right, so apparently we do this. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so apparently you just hold the right click and it uses the ammo inside of the cannon and shoots it out. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. That's a pretty fun little addition, I think. I don't think it's really that functional, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, it could be, it could not be. I don't imagine it does much damage, so uh, yes. But whatever the case, we've done a pretty good job this episode. It's a bit unfortunate that we weren't able to get an icicle, but again, you can't have everything in the world. And again, I'm probably going to call it right now. I'm going to get it right after the episode ends, aren't I? Yes. But anyways, guys, on that note, it is time to win the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you want to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But for now, it is time for me to go. Thank you so much for watching once again. Thank you for your continued support, and I will see you guys in the next episode.